the last thing I want to talk about, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this, is the inauguration. Uh, I watched none of it. <laughs> I just didn't. I had better. I had better shit to do. I like I said. I I, I I exercised. I watched an anime that I haven't seen in a long time that I actually enjoy. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll catch clips of it later or something. But I I just had better shit to do with my day. Um, then, then celebrate, you know, uh, slightly left Trump. And that's what Joe Biden is. He's slightly less left Trump. His record of abhorrent criminal justice with the crime bill, the, the, uh, police bill of rights during Nixon, he was pro drug war. The, the treatment of Anita Hill, the fact that he's so proud of the Iraq war, he said he's going to veto Medicare for all, and he, and he basically said nothing will fundamentally change, and nothing will. Nothing will. We will go back to that status quo. We will go back to that point where, you know, people are still starving, the, the, the bread lines will grow longer, the amount of people in medical debt will continue to grow, Evictions will continue. More people will wind up homeless. And then we'll criminalize homelessness. And we'll criminalize poverty. He's already lied to us. Even before the inauguration. Remember how he said when Georgia goes blue, you'll get $2,000 checks? We'll make that happen. Well, guess what? He, he got us on a technicality. I talked about it yesterday. I addressed a bunch of shit yesterday. Where I basically pointed out he's not even in office. And he's already fucking over the middle class. He's already fucking over the working class people of, the, of this country. $1,400 checks after he... So he basically went back on a promise, right? I didn't watch the inauguration because what's the point? Nothing. Nothing's, nothing's going to change. This isn't some sort of... I, I see people celebrating this as though this is some kind of like groundbreaking monumental thing. It's, it's not. Like we're going to get respect and decency back into the White House. We're not. Would someone that stands for respect and decency um, after, after civil rights leaders express the issues that the communities of color across the nation have with Joe Biden and what they're asking from him, his first response is, look, I got to go. And then he spends 21 minutes yelling at them, yelling at them. Ooh. That's not respect. That's not decency. Going to bring empathy to the White House. Yeah, how many people is he going to give health care to? Is it none? He's going to give access to health care, which is a Republican talking point. All of these things that I bring up, why do I bring it up? I, I want to, you know, if you're, if you're a hardcore Biden supporter and you believe that the Democratic Party is going to save us, which it won't, um, and, and history dictates that, uh, here's, here's my, my, you know, little message to, 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 to those supporters. I would say talk to your progressive friends that don't support Joe Biden and talk to them with that respect that you want to see in the White House, with that empathy you want to see at the White House. Because I'll tell you something right now, uh, selective empathy is not fucking empathy. It's you being a douchebag. It's you justifying being an asshole to people you don't care for that think differently than you. And selective empathy is justification of not realizing 
what causes people to land in the belief systems that that they do land into to look at the root causes of these problems that's what selective empathy does so if you have true empathy you should figure out where these people came from the people that you don't like is it and and primarily i mean the democrats hate the progressive left more than they do the right uh, because the Democrats are a party of the right. Anyway, they're, they're a right-wing party. America has two right-wing parties. That's the reality. Now, if you're sitting there and going, oh, but Chris, how could you say something like that? Now, obviously, I have uh, a plethora of, of videos that you can watch and take part uh, and engage in conversation with, but you can also ask me. And if you if you want to ask me and you have a respectful tone, I will answer you. If you want to ask me and you want to be an asshole about it and make your snarky little jokes, call me a Trump supporter, a deplorable. That's something that liberals have called me. Uh, say that I'm uh, causing the death and destruction of people. That's something the liberals have accused me of. They get mad that I'm not the token. It's a weird sense of betrayal, I think, is they look at me and they go, well, you must be for the Democrat. You have to be for the Democrat. You're a brown kid. You're an immigrant. And yeah, the Democrats haven't been great on immigration either. I would say if you really want things to be better and different, then it's time to engage in conversation, not insults. Don't think that you're better than people just because you're a liberal. Because progressives don't think that they're better than liberals. Progressives just want things to be better for everybody. Have that conversation. Be respectful. Don't shove your fucking insults at them. Don't pretend to be more elite than, than you know, what you are. Because Biden's already shown you his cards. It's up to you to what it's up to you to accept those cards for what they are. The dude already lied about the two thousand dollar checks on a technicality. Dude already shit on civil rights leaders, screamed and yelled at them. He's yelled about he's he's he had an awful reaction to Tara Reed. He has a bad attitude in general. He lost. I mean, he could. He could barely keep his cool. He hates Trump so much because Trump is a mirror to him. Their backgrounds might be slightly different, and they are different. But, I mean, they wound up being very similar. Joe Biden is going to bring unity to the country. No, 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 no. I, I, I very much doubt it. That's a very egotistical, narcissistic thing to think. If you want to have a rational conversation, talk to your progressive friends. Don't insult them. Don't shit on them. Don't yell at them when they say they don't like the, the, the politician you've decided to deify. If not, then on the ground floor, we are contributing to the same level of divide that is being manufactured up at the top. There is still time for you on the ground floor to bridge some divides. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, 
whether it's my fork full of noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K R I S H M O H A N H A H A dot com. There you'll find past episodes of uh, of various shows that I uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. You can go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. And I hope to see you at the next video. Thanks again.